Hello everyone, this is Jamin from Jamstick Studios. Here we're gonna learn how to make 3D knots in SketchUp. Uh, I did this with uh, Cinema 4D to get the profile ready. So I'm just showing you a preview of what I did previously. Um, yeah, the path that needs to be done. So we have like a profile of the spline from elevation and plan, as you can see over here so uh, for this one i'm showing the top view of the segment and then the elevation as it is i will attach it in the um in the youtube link so you can download it in the photo then we have uh, to trace it using the plugin as shown on the screen so um let's look at that and then we go all the way as it shows um, after i'm done with the tracing i will now project the splines using the vertex tool to project the edges or the points using the elevation as reference um without wasting my time or not to spend long time on it i just um, start with some parts and then as time goes on i will forward the video a little bit quick so we can uh, finish on time uh, since it's a tutorial i need to slow down with most of the procedure so first one is we take using the vertex tool and then we click on points to as from the plan then I project upwards so you follow the same procedures moving um, from the vectors to up there on the elevation line as I have done then we continue all the way to three four five six so you follow the routine by just moving as I did on the screen um, yeah so that is it keep on and i'll get back to you uh, i only had to explain this in voice so it will be easy for um any sketcher beginner who finds it difficult it really it is not easy to control vertex or edges in sketcher because it's not just like any normal 3d software that you can do that using the 2d asics yeah so let me continue moving the vertex or the endpoints to its coordinate as shown um, yeah so keep calm and watch uh, let me know your feedback after the video is done um, you can subscribe if you only wish to watch more from me so yeah i'm speeding up everything so you can your time stay tuned okay so as you can see we're done tracing uh, or adjusting the uh, elevations to its coordinate and since it's not we have to rearrange that or control the vectors in position as on the plan so that we can get a good uh, rope knot. So the tight knot uh, needs to be um, put not really perfect, but uh, we we'll try to fix this out. So with this, um, I'm showing you how to also do that after you finish controlling the relations that will come up to the plan and then rearrange um, the, the, the vectors or end points to keep position as I'm going so you follow the procedure from 3 all the way to um, 16 position so I will forward the video you can follow the procedure as well and then we look so this is um, the best way you can achieve this. I have a other method that I used in a body 
um, profile that I did. And that one you can do it and two, you shouldn't take much time. But you want to have a full sketchup experience, so you have to go this way. It's quite difficult uh, if you are new to this. But if you are you know how to use this, you really have to doing that. So you can see I'm moving the vectors to, um, to to follow the profile line that we did. So uh, keep on watching and I'll give up to you.
We are done with the main focus for this project. Thank you all for watching. Um, just a little few textures to the room. Uh, for me. So this is how to make a 3D rope with knot in SketchUp. So if you want to tie a knot, you can try this procedure. Um, if you have any comments, sure, share with me and then let me know. If you like the video, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and as usual, I'll keep on sharing based on your request and then yeah, that is all for now. Enjoy your day and thank you very much for spending your precious time with my tutorials. See you next time.